The nation is preparing to say its final goodbyes to Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Wednesday and Thursday, her body will lie in repose outside the Supreme Court. On Friday, she'll become the first woman to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. Meanwhile, the political battle rages on over the vacancy left behind. President Trump says he'll nominate a woman on Friday or Saturday. But Democrats maintain the choice should be left up to whoever wins the presidency in six weeks. Yesterday, volunteers with the COVID Memorial Project were planting thousands of flags near the Washington Monument. It's to mark the grim milestone that around 200,000 Americans have now died of the coronavirus. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden is pointing the finger at President Trump. But at a rally last night in Ohio, the president downplayed the threat COVID-19 poses to young people and urged schools to reopen. And Walmart is out with a zero emissions goal by 2040. The company announced plans to harness enough renewable energy, including wind and solar, to power its facilities by 2035. Walmart says it will be, quote, electrifying and zeroing out emissions from all its vehicles, including long haul trucks. What do you think of this eco friendly plan? Let us know in the comments. Those are the stories we're keeping our eye on. I'm Laura Podesta. We'll have more tomorrow.